Instagram. Time now, though, for Big Pond Sport email and our question this week from Martin James. How does the driver cooling system work? Here's Mark Larkin with the answer. For those of you that are really observant, you'll notice out on the grid, often the team's bringing dry ice out there. The other thing you'll notice is drivers have these couple of pipes hanging out of their race suit. Now, they're not a battery jack pack to get the robot drivers going. It's all part of a quite a complex cooling system. Now, firstly, when they get in, this is their underwear. This is actually a, what's known as a cool suit. It's flame-proof. It's got all these tiny little pipes running through the front and the back of it. When the driver gets in, he plugs these in to this little coupling on here, and the dry ice, I'll just put that up there, goes into this box here. Now, this box has a pump on the other side of it there. And what it does, when he wants to get going, presses the pump and that pumps that, circulates that water that's cooled via the dry ice through his suit, keeps him cool. Very important. Now, a lot of times you hear the guys where they maybe put that in a little early, it actually freezes up the pipe. This ends up not working and it's a real drama for drivers. Because remember, we're seeing sometimes 50 degrees centigrade inside here. So if your cool suit's not working, it's like wearing another layer of thermal underwear. Not good. Now, added to this system, look, is another couple of pipes that come into this device, which is another little cooling radiator with a fan. Now, we need to see where this comes from. I can tell you, up on the roof here, there's what's called a knacker duct. So that gets nice fresh air blown in there, comes down through this ducting all the way through here and through this filter. Inside here is a carbon monoxide filter, which filters all the nasty fumes out of the cars in front of you. That then goes through that fan, is cooled, and here we go, into the pipe on the top of the helmet here. So the driver has fresh, clean, cool air. Love to be a race driver in the modern era. James, you're one of the drivers that places an enormous amount of emphasis on personal fitness. How much difference does that stuff make for you guys now? It makes a huge difference, especially weekends like at Darwin and also going into Townsville to keep the car the temperature down in the car. We don't have to worry about them freezing as much as what we did in the start of things, but uh, no, they're really quite efficient now. Modern luxuries for these blokes now. We never had that stuff in the good old days. You're sounding like Russell. <laughs> yeah, I know, sounding awfully like Russell.